new worries are popping up about bird flu. For the first time, we're learning that it has jumped from an animal to a human. A dairy farmer caught the virus after having repeated close contact with infected cows in Texas. The New England Journal of Medicine reports he was treated with antiviral medication and never became seriously ill. The health workers are concerned because this shows how hard it could be to track bird flu if humans get it from animals. They're worried some dairy workers are getting sick but don't want to be tested. A 13 News fact finder Brooke Wagner talked with a U of A scientist who's analyzing the data on uh, that dairy workers case right now. And Brooke, uh, what did he say about humans catching the virus? Well, certainly there are a lot of unknowns right now, but I wanted to talk with him specifically about transmission through food because you may have seen concerns about that on social media. He agreed with information we got from the USDA, FDA and CDC who say there are no reported cases of people being infected from food. The FDA did find evidence of the bird flu virus in grocery store milk, but it was not live virus. Here's what Dr. Michael Warby, who's helping to lead this research, told me about what that means for you. The tr traces of the virus genetic material is in about 20% of, you know, the jugs of milk in the grocery stores across most of the country. Uh, but we, we, we found no evidence whatsoever of a virus that can infect you in those milk products. Uh, raw unpasteurized milk products uh, are uh, a different story. The FDA is doing tests right now to see how well exactly pasteurization works specifically on H5N1 bird flu. Key takeaway, the FDA doesn't know if people can contract bird flu from raw milk products. Use caution there, but they're confident pasteurized milk is safe. What about meat? The USDA just announced results from testing ground beef sold in stores in states with herds that tested positive. All samples tested negative for avian flu. The Food Safety and Inspection Service says the results confirmed the meat supply is safe. Key takeaway there, proper cooking skills, kill the virus. So do not eat undercooked meat or poultry. The internal temp should reach 165. Same with eggs. Eggs laid by hens with avian flu are likely to be infected too. However, egg products are pasteurized. Whole eggs and cartons are not. So again, key takeaway, cook properly. Make sure yolks and whites are not runny. See a trend here? No one can yet say for certain that food cannot transmit bird flu, but if you use extra care with healthy food prep, the risk is extremely low or non-existent. We should also note in Arizona, the 65 recorded cases of H5N1 have been in wild birds only. Arizona farms have detected no cases. Brooke Wagner, 13 Fact Finder.